Hello everybody. In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to find the surface area of a triangular prism. The first part of our equation says we have to multiply A times B. A stands for the altitude of our triangular face and the B stands for the base of the triangular face. This right here, 6 inches, is the altitude of our triangular face and right here, 16 inches, is the length of the base of our triangular face. So we're going to plug in 6 for A and we are going to multiply that by 16. The next part of our equation is an addition sign. We're just going to bring that down. But inside parentheses, it says we have to add the three sides of our triangular face. So looking at the three lengths of our given triangle, we can see that one side of our triangle is 10 inches. Another side is 10 inches. And the third side, which is actually the base of our triangular face, is a length of 16 inches. So in parentheses, I am going to plug in 10 plus 10 plus 16. And after we add all of those sides together, we must multiply it by the height of the triangular prism. Now, in this case, the H or the height stands for the distance between the two triangular faces. This line right here represents the distance between the two triangular faces, which is 10 in this case. So I'm going to stick a 10 right here on the outside or substitute that in for the letter H. Now, Next, I'm going to multiply 6 times 16, which would give us a product of 96. And then we are going to add the different side lengths of the triangle located inside the parentheses here, which would give us a total of 36 inches. And then we're going to have to take that 36 and multiply it by 10. We have to multiply 36 times 10 first using the order of operations, which is 360. And then our last step is to add 96 to that. 96 is really just 100 minus 4. So 360 plus 100 is 460. And if we go back 4, that would be 456. So we would say that the surface area of this triangular prism is 456 square inches.